Alright. Let me tell you a little story. This here is one of my best friends I've ever had in my life. Good man. His name's Seth. And I've got some videos on my channel of Seth uh, and I doing some arrowhead hunting. And uh, it's kind of funny how it got started. This, this guy here owned a bow shop here where I live. And uh, I'd been going in there for oh for a little while. I hadn't really made friends with him yet or anything. We just talked, and you know he fixed my bow and stuff, or some arrows, made me some arrows up, and whatnot. And uh, one day we started talking about arrowheads, and uh, he's like arrowheads. You know what are you talking about? Like real ones? I said, yeah, real ones. And he's like. It's like, well, that would be cool. And I was like, wait a minute, you all own a bow shop and never went arrowhead hunting? And he's like, no. Well, so I invited him over to a spot, and we went over there, and Seth found his first arrowhead ever that day on a little gravel bar in this little creek that we call Lucky Spot. But and there's a video of that. Just go back in my earlier videos and look for Seth's first find and you'll see the video well that's all it took the boy was hooked and uh, we arrow headed arrow head hunted uh, just about every day or every weekend anyway every he, he'd get off work and come over and pick me up and we'd go and uh, we found some pretty cool stuff together and had some really good times he uh, he's moved up north Missouri now uh, he's probably, I don't know, four hours away from me, something like that. And uh, I talk to him irregularly as much as we can anyway. And he, he, he comes down and visits. And uh, I put a video up a few weeks ago. Um, I think the title of it is Little Man Finds a Killer. Well, this is with him and his two boys and uh, I think his nephew. And his oldest boy found that little Harden, for almost like a G10, just sitting there. You have to go back and watch that one too. But anyways, I go to the mailbox today, expecting, you know, bills like everybody else. Nothing, nothing I wasn't expecting nothing. And uh, there's a box in the mailbox. And he sent me some gifts. And I remember every one of these, Seth, so don't think I don't. We found this one, an overhang. This is, we just got there, and it was ice and snowing. And uh, you can see the drip line out there in front of the overhang. And he bent down there, and that thing was just sitting there like that, like it was just waiting for him. Right, and it was funny. I was standing right beside him, I didn't even see it. It's got some cool colors in it. Gray at the tip, white. Little Dina. And we found this Paleo Blade. I believe this was at Lucky Spot 2. Yep, we have two Lucky Spots. Look at that flaking in that thing. It's awesome. Pretty sure it's paleo. This one here, well, I'll move this. This one here is another little creek that we got in. It was walking to a, a, a camp that we had not discovered yet. We were just following the creek, and uh, he found this in there, a little square knife. I think this is a corner got busted out. Perfect little tool. It's a pretty awesome pine. And then, then there's this one. We call this one the dirt, the, uh, what do we call it? The, the dog turd fine. Petrified dog turd. Uh, we were walking this gravel bar, the lucky spot too. Not, uh, forgive me, I'm laughing as I remember this because this was funny. But uh, we were on this gravel bar in lucky spot too. Just turned over. 
and I'm goofing off, acting like an idiot, you know, not really paying attention to anything, and Seth's, you know, looking hard, and I get up on top of this gravel bar, and there's this rock sitting there, and I swear it looked like a petrified dog turd, uh, excuse, excuse me for my rudeness, but that's, that's about as well, best as I can describe it, so I'm sitting there, you know, <laughs> kicking it around, and, and, uh, you know, being ignorant and stuff, being stupid and laughing and having time to try and get Seth to, you know, laugh and goof off with me. And he looks down at my feet and goes, you gonna pick that up? I look down and that thing's just laying there, right between my feet. And I looked at him and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I, I was too busy being, you know, being a dummy. I didn't even see that sitting there and I about st stepped right on it. He looked at me and I looked at him and he's like, well, I said, well, it's uh, it's yours. I said, you earned that one, buddy. I lost it fair and square. And uh, you know, he gives me he gives me junk every time he sees me about the the petrified dog turd point. And that will be it. And he find he sent it to me. So that is so cool, Seth. I appreciate it, buddy. Memories that will not be forgotten. I'm not sure what that is. That that might be like a. Uh, a Cobb's knife or, or it could be a big old tip off something I don't know but it looks like a Cobb's knife to me you know what's left of it but anyway sorry to bore you guys with the long long story but it had to be told and uh, to understand where these points come from or these artifacts and uh, the meaning behind them it's very special uh, I'm sure there'll be more to come as far as memories go, but thank you, Seth. Right on, brother. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll talk at you later.